Let's talk about Meghan Markle for a second. Now, Harry seems like a very nice, very sweet, very gentle guy. And that's probably why you end up with a strong black woman. And unfortunately, strong black women are usually seen as difficult, pushy, demanding. And why is that? Because they've had to deal with the most BS out of anyone, and they don't take it from anyone. And frankly... <laughs> My, um, my, my sort of, I've always, I've always respected strong black women and, um, it's, it's a stereotype in some ways, which is negative, but it's also something that is positive as well. And, um, unfortunately white men are not allowed to channel their inner black women, their inner strong black woman. Um, that's, that's a meme that you get in trouble for. Um, but if you've grown up admiring strong black women, and that is the person that you think of when you need inspiration and you need to feel, um, you know, like you can handle something, it's very confusing um, for white people. <laughs> Not speaking about myself, of course, I'm speaking for all the other white men with um, strong um, black women internally. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Megan, she, I, mean, I don't personally like her, I don't think I'd even like to know her, um, but she didn't deserve any of the rubbish she got in the press. It was 90% racism, 10% just, oh, well, this is, this fire's already started. Let's throw some, you know, gas on it. Let's, you know, just get that, fan that and get that going for some, you know, clicks and money. But um, the majority, it was, just, it was just racism. And she didn't deserve it. She's not a bad person. Um, you know, she's just a diva. And, you know, we all know, you know, I'm not going to get into it, but... I mean, divas get called, you know, the B word, and women who are strong get, you know, because men can't handle it, and they don't like it, and and if you're a racist, a woman of colour who is confident and strong, um, oh, hell no, they can't handle that. <laughs> um, what really surprises me, well, first off, is I left that there the whole time, is that Harry didn't see this coming, that he didn't know. He was he obviously is such a sweet guy, he had no idea that people thought like this, because he doesn't think like that. So he didn't see the reaction his wife was going to get, and, and, be, and you know, being in a relationship with her, and bringing her into the royal family. He didn't see what that was going to be, I don't think. I really don't think. A lot of people saying, oh, they're just exploiting this, they're exploiting that. I'm like, no, they're, they're dealing with something that, that they didn't, you know, Harry didn't realise. I don't think Megan realised either. She probably wasn't that aware of the British people, um, the, the monarchy, as you would think, being a Hollywood celebrity. I don't think a Hollywood actress or whatever. I don't think. I think they both sort of got a bit of a shock when they were in it and they realised, well, we're in it. We have to get out of it. We can't live in this. And I feel for them for that. I really do. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I just was thinking about it and I just wanted to comment because that's what my YouTube is. I just talk about things that interest me or that I need to talk about therapeutically. Um, so, yeah, strong black women, the British people, the monarchy, they don't like them, sadly. Although I think the Queen did. I think the Queen loved her. I think the Queen really wanted to make a difference. And a lot of people trashed the Queen and trashed the Queen after she died um, because of, you know, the, the establishment that she was part of, like she created it when actually she was trying to improve it the whole time and trying to work within it, I think. Um, I think they I think they got along really well. And, yep, yeah, I'm just waffling now. I'm going to go. But, um, yep, yeah, leave Megan alone.